What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guy. Come on. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I am back to inspire you to not only be great in this game, but also in life. I don't care where you're at. I don't care what's going on in your life. You got to continue to persevere. Just remember, I believe in you, so keep going. So with the last two updates, Fortnite has added a couple of old favorites back. All right, so we got the heavy assault rifle and the launch pad. Okay, so that's great and all, but there's a whole new season ahead of us. So today, I'm gonna be going over 10 items we think should be unvaulted in season two, all right? Now, for our question of the day, I need my drum roll, let's go. I'm wondering what you guys like to see the most, you know, being unvaulted during season two. And I'm curious if you guys are gonna pick the items that we maybe won't discuss on our list today. So leave your answers in the comments below all right and just before we begin if you're unhappy with your current skill level and you want to see improvement you should give proguys.com a shot all right you know with the membership you'll gain exclusive access to a variety of courses written by some of the top pros in the community and with one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions available you're going to have direct access to the best of the best that can teach you guys what you're doing wrong so drop a like on the video and subscribe and then head on over to proguides.com to get started. All right, guys, ladies and gentlemen around the world, it's time to scream this out. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. Oh, oh. it's that bunch of crunch. Let's get this going. First up is Chug Splashes. All right, so when these tasty six packs were introduced back in season nine, I don't think I even heard of a single complaint about them. They were pretty much universally loved. So it was a massive surprise when they got vaulted in chapter two. I guess I could see why Epic did it since they added numerous other ways to gather shields, right? But still, man, the shield drop rate this season is probably one of the most complained about aspects of the game. It really does feel like chess hardly pop out minis or big pots which sucks if you land in an area with no fishing spots. And I feel like Chug Splashes had some crazy dynamic gameplay too. You know, you would sometimes have to decide whether to use them right away or just wait to group up with your team. And if you had a down teammate, you could just toss some Kobe's to keep them alive for longer. The gameplay was enjoyable and interactive, you know, at the same time. So I feel like Fortnite would be in a better state if these delicious slurp drinks like made a comeback. All right, guys, so next up, we've got gliders. No, not the mechanic that everyone had back in season six, all right? But the state, it ended up once it got reworked and turned on into an item. You know, I think that in the time leading up to before it got vaulted, gliders were in a pretty balanced state, right? Once they removed the ability to skydive, you know, it just really slowed down the gliding speed and it really made it take up an item slot. Players had to think twice before carrying these things, man. But if you did, they could help you escape the storm or even net you effortless in-game rotations. I guess really the only thing we might need to worry about is whether or not, you know, they're just too weak for today's Fortnite. You, okay, so the average player has gotten loads better at aiming. And, you know, with the rise of controller scrimmers, you know, using these bad boys might be a bit too dangerous. Still, all right, so mobility items, you know, they, they should have some sort of risk behind them if they want to be balanced. So I think that it's a fair compromise. Either way, I love to see them come back. Okay, next, for all the scallywags out there, it's the Flint Knot Pistol. All right, I feel as if this weapon had it all, man. You know, it was fun, you know, multi-purpose mechanic and the form of its knockback was its main strength. You know, you could use that either to propel in a direction or to knock enemy players off high ground. Even with such a compelling twist, the weapon still felt really, really balanced. You know, landing a shot required a ton of skill and patience. Yes, it was hard to use, but you know, I think that only made getting a hit much more rewarding, especially when your aim was on point and you bull-eye your opponent's dome for a whopping 180 damage. Oof. If somehow you know this pistol was weak, <laughs> you might have not been utilizing it correctly, guys. It was even considered a bit too strong and competitive because of its ability to save players from fall damage. But I'm not really advocating for any of these items to come back to comp, only pubs. That's the approach Epic seems to be using this chapter, you know, where they only introduce stuff to non-competitive modes. And so far, you know, I think they're doing a fantastic job at keeping comp modes fair. But either way, you know, I'd love to see the Flint Knock make a return sometime next season. We'll see. Okay, so if you're sick of always, always finding green sniper rifles and every chest you open, who's that? I know I am. And that's why I want the hunting rifle to make a return. You know, it did make a short appearance recently during the Christmas event where you would find them in presents. And to be honest, you know, having back in the game made me feel just right at home. It didn't really feel too powerful or too weak compared to the sniper. You know, precise aim was rewarded just as much while still allowing for a more fast paced play style. 
And with the recent addition of side grading to the game, you know, Epic could make it so that, you know, we have the option to turn a bolt sniper into a hunting rifle. I don't know if they'll ever do that, <laughs> but the side grade feature definitely needs more items than just the heavy assault rifle. So, you know, like why not the ability to turn bolt snipers into the hunting rifle? I think that'd be pretty cool. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Next up is the tactical assault rifle. Man, like when this gun first got introduced in season nine, alongside the John Wick LTM, I don't think any of us really realized just how amazing of a weapon it would be. Turns out Epic created one of the most balanced and versatile guns in the game. So this bad boy right here, and I mean like right here, can be used as a cross between, you know, an assault rifle and an SMG, which opened up a lot more styles of play, right? So with the weapon, we started seeing some players like opt for triple utility loadouts, but not everybody. It didn't completely change the matter or anything like that. You see, you know, the tactical assault rifle was pretty weak at long ranges, meaning like players who like going for long distance beams preferred other options. However, it had like minimum recoil, so it still rewarded accuracy a lot more than the regular AR did. I feel like the only concern would be is, you know, how this weapon would fit in competitive since opening more slots up for fish might make sitting in the end game storm more potent of a strategy than it is already. But at least for pub matches, I think it'll add a ton of variety without breaking the game. So while the shotgun meta isn't as a horrible state right now, I feel like it's gotten a little bit stale. So the heavy shotgun making a return could definitely shake some things up right away. I guess really the main problem, you know, with shotguns right now is that they're pretty much exclusively point blank weapons, right? Try to use one beyond like 10 feet and they're gonna be wishing you just pulled out an SMG instead. The heavy shoddy, however, had fantastic range capabilities for a burst weapon. And at the same time, you know, the damage it dealt was just fine. It can't one shot, even with the perfect hit as a slower fire rate compared to the tack. Meaning in this meta, man, it would beat pumps and tacks up to a certain distance, then lose against them at closer ranges. Epic would probably have to add some low rarity variety since they didn't exist before. But if they did, man, I think the heavy shotgun would be a perfect option for side grading. The trap slot's been kind of lonely in chapter two so far. We did get launch pads brought back in the most recent update, yes, but it still feels a little bare. So I think next season would be a great time to reintroduce bouncers as well. What do you guys think? I don't know, you know, maybe I'm just being nostalgic, but <laughs> these things bring back a lot of memories. They were just so fun to use, right? You know, whether to gain height during a build battle or, you know, just a way to fling yourself toward enemies. Bouncers had so many uses. You know, my favorite thing about them was that all the stylish ways that you could combo them with other utility items, right? Stick one next to a launch pad and you can create a super launch pad. You could even combo them with like impulse or shockwave grenades and give yourself an even more significant boost. It just has so much variety. You know, it'd be a shame to see them vaulted forever, but who knows? So, you know, probably the biggest complaint players had towards bouncers was that, you know, they pretty much gave free high ground in a build battle. But, you know, we're in a more of a box fight meta nowadays, so I don't really think that's gonna end up being too much of an issue. Hopefully, Epic thinks about bringing these babies back. You know, I don't think there's really been an item that rewards precision aim as much as the infantry rifle did, which is like sort of ironic if you think about it, considering that, you know, when it came out, the projectile bullets made it almost impossible to hit shots. But after being reworked to hit scan and some other buffs, this beauty of a weapon, let me tell you, became a favorite among cracked out aimers, man. So, you know, we want to see it return for season two. Yes, it did do a lot of damage, but it had also, you know, a lot of drawbacks as well. With its low ammo count and its low fire rate, it wasn't really, really effective against structures. And, you know, missing shots would be a lot more punishing as well. So, you know, there was a trade-off in carrying one to the point that some players would prefer a regular assault rifle instead. But all in all, you know, it's a weapon you could fully utilize without having to rely on Bloom. That's something that I feel the game permanently needs. Sure, you know, we recently got the AK introduced as a side grade option, but that weapon always felt clunky to use, right? Like it's close to an infantry, but it's nowhere near as satisfying. Will it make a comeback? Probably not, but I sure hope it does. Okay, for this next one, we had a bit of trouble deciding whether we wanted impulse grenades or shockwaves back. Honestly, both of those items had their pros and cons, but overall, you know, we think that shockwave should be one to return. What about you? Well, the reason why that we believe is, you know, first of all, like they were a blast to use, all right, but also they were a lot of unique interactions as well. You know, their ability to destroy builds let us sing a ton of creative strategies that counter turtling. And, you know, if your team was coordinated enough, you know, you could actually set up a single shockwave to launch your entire squad. 
But yeah, you know, I get it. I guess the whole breaking structures thing was a bit of a nuisance to competitive matches. And that reason alone makes me think that they really don't belong as an in-game rotation device. But for regular non-competitive games, I think they'd be a great way to just like build back up that lacking loop pool. All right, so last on our list, we've got clingers. Epic swapped grenades and clingers in and out of the vault before, and I always thought they'd continue to do that regularly, right? You know, you know, to help keep the game fresh, right? <laughs> but they've been unavailable for over seven months now. And honestly, I don't know if, if clingers are on the list because I actually want them back or if it's more that I prefer grenades to be gone. I mean, let's be real. The grenade strategy where you mark distance and lined up your arc was really cool for a while, but it got really, really tired really, really fast. And Epic's attempt to nerf it really didn't do anything. Players are still yeeting nades at bases and pretty much guaranteeing themselves a limbs. So if Clingers were to replace them, it would get rid of that OP strategy, right? While at the same time reintroducing some older ones. Are these explosive plungers really gone forever? Or will we maybe see them in the future, perhaps as a side grade option? I guess we'll find out soon enough. So that was our list of what we think should make a return for season two. Now, I'm not saying every single item I talked about should come back, okay? I'm sure most of us can agree that probably that would be too overwhelming. Still, I think at least four or five of them would be a great way to shake up the game and just make each match feel more unique. Plus, you know, with the side grading mechanic, you know, Epic has a new way to re-implement these items, okay? And, you know, a lot of them might not even need to drop out of chess if they're side grade options. Meaning, you know, our loot pool can stay how it is for the most part with just the extra options. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching today. Tell me what you think in the comments and remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, we'll see you next time.